Hey guys, welcome to Ham Radio with K0PIR and my YouTube channel. I'm going to go over uh, FL Digi today and I'm using uh, FL Digi with WF View. And I also have Log for the Old Man as my log book. So let's take a look at uh, uh, WF View first. In settings, to set up rig control for FL Digi, you'll want to use the external control, enable rig controlled CTLD, rig CTLD, and port 4532. So when we get over to FL Digi, we can set it up for rig control. I'm going to go to configure, dialog. And uh, the first place we can go is, let's see, I've already got CW in there, and uh, we want to be able to use CW, so uh, I'm using DTRRTS, and you'll have to have DTR set up in your radio, and I have screen captures on my website, k0pir.us, for uh, all of the internal settings of the ICOM 7300 and the 7610. Now I'm using COM1, which is the product of VSPE. I have a physical port, COM5, that I've split to COM1. And uh, that's what I'm using for CW King. And you'll need to hit the connect button over here. And uh, when it's off, it's grayed out. And when it's on, it's yellow. So that's it for uh, CW King. Let's go up to Pro Signs because I do use that in my macros. These Pro Signs for a break, I use the equal sign. And for AR, I use uh, this sign. And for SK, I use this. And I think that's about all. Oh, KN plus. So that's it for Pro Signs. Let's go over to, uh, let's go to Sound Cards and uh, the devices uh, port audio and the usb audio codec for input and output the capture and the playback and again i have all these screen captures on my website i just put out an article using fl digi with wf view and then finally for rig control i uh, use ham lib the ham libraries I've got it checked off up here, and for the rig, it's Ham Live Net Rig Control, the stable version. And for the device, 127.0.0.1. And then the port 4532. And you can't see this, but Mr. B just woke up. He's going to come join me. And uh, this is all the default, except I took off RIDI as USB mode, because I want to try uh, MMTTY and RIDI FSK. Uh, I want to try to set that up to log and to log for the old man. And that brings up another point. I better show you how I have log for the old man set up. So FL Digi logs right into it. Right, let's get back to this. I'll hit uh, hit, hit initialize. But I'll go ahead and hit close because I've got rig control. And I change frequencies using the list. And the only thing you have to watch is the filter. Uh, make sure that it, it does change over. Let's go to 40 meters and uh, peak yet, uh, PSK 31. Double click on it. Uh, make sure that the radio changes over to USB-D. And uh, the filter, you have to set the filter on the radio. So I use filter 1. Let's go back to CW. And uh, there's nobody on 80 meters. So uh, let us uh, let me set the filter. I use filter 2. That's what it looks like. And I can turn up the volume a little bit. I've turned the power down using WF View. Turned the power all the way down. And uh, I use WF View for the auto tuner. 
So let me go ahead and send my, my call. And I'll use it uh, to send my call when I'm chasing somebody. Or I, I use it to send CW or CQ. If I need to stop it, I can just hit uh, T slash R. So that's it for FL Digi. Now I've got uh, FL Digi logging into Log for the Old Man, and let me show you. I've done this in another video, but uh, let's go up to Settings and Program Configuration, and uh, then down to FL Digi. And I don't have this checked off because I'm using WF view and I'm using rig control I'm using ham libraries for rig control so I don't have that checked off and let's go over to ADIF functions I've got FL digi the FL digi logbook in here and uh, I just uh, put that in so it will check that log this file and I'll check it every once in a while and uh, every few seconds to see if it's changed and if it's changed it uh, pulls in the log let me exit out of here pulls in the log and then puts the QSO in here so that's how that works and I'm going to try using MMTTY the same way uh, so I can use really FSK and have MMTTY log right into log for the old man Okay, well if you have any questions, uh, please ask them below, and uh, you can ask them over on my website too. Uh, if you ask them on the YouTube comments or in the uh, comments on my website, then that will help others as well. And uh, I hope you get something out of this video. Please give me a thumbs up, and uh, subscribe and share. And if you haven't already, head over to my t-shirt shop, find a good design that you like, and I bring out new designs just about every week, so uh, check it every once in a while, and uh, that's a good way for you to support my channel. Alright, well that does it, I'm going to hit the road, and I'll take Mr. B out for a walk. 73 and good DX. <laughs>